وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين We continue with the last topic that this life is is relatively very short compared to the hereafter nevertheless nevertheless it's the most critical this life is most critical so whenever we say it is very short and it's really like a play it it doesn't mean it's not important it's actually the most the most critical this life that we live no matter how short it is because depending on this life and what we do we will harvest in the hereafter what you see what you cultivate what you grow here you'll be cultivating there so this is the most serious part of our lives of our journey in this universe so this life is really critical and very important therefore we need to make use of the time properly and alhamdulillah Allah gave us some special seasons let's remember the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu when he was visited by Umar and the Prophet sallallahu was taking a nap and his mattress was really a, uh, a mat made of hay so it, it left some marks on his side sallallahu alayhi wasallam so Umar said ya Rasulullah why don't we uh, prepare something more comfortable for you a better bidding a better mattress so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said why should I do that while my journey in this life is just like some traveler huh? took a shade of a tree relaxed for some time and then continued his journey so my journey is short yes the journey is short but very critical depending on that we will have to live uh, eternal life then Alhamdulillah, Allah gave us special seasons in this short life. Very special seasons. And one of these seasons is these days. Just like Ramadan and Simila, these 10 days of Dhul Hijjah are very special. In fact, the hadith of the Prophet, ﷺ, the authentic one that the Imam narrated today, is that no other days no other days the good deeds are more beloved and dearest to Allah than these 10 days ma min ayyam al amal salih fihinna ahabbu ila Allah no other days that your good deeds will be dearer and more rewarding by Allah than these days better than Ramadan yes better than Ramadan except Laylatul Qadr of course so these are the days, the better days of the whole year, better than the days of Ramadan. The, the last 10 nights is better than these nights, but these days are better than absolutely all the days of the year. These 10 days, the good deeds, good deeds doesn't necessarily mean fasting and salah only. Prayers and fasting is only one aspect, sadaqah, charity good deeds all sorts of good deeds sometimes the good deeds let's let me give you example if someone has money and people are in need of the money and he says ah this is the time of good deeds let me go to the masjid and spend the time there and he doesn't spend the, the money when people need it this person is wrong what this person's responsibility is not to go to the masjid uh, uh, and make itikaf. His main duty is to give of the money Allah gave him. This is the most beloved to Allah. If someone of authority and can do well of removing injustices, it's better than making itikaf in the haram and possibly better than hajj 
after the Hajj of Islam. Everyone should, should think of what is best to get him closer to Allah, what is most beloved to Allah, is to remove the calamities on someone, to relieve somebody's hardship. And this hardship could be sometimes good words. Money may not do it. If your sister needs you to be huh, next to her and talk to her, that's your duty. This is the good deed that you need to make. If your auntie, who's a widow, and need someone to comfort her. Being next to her is you most dearer to Allah, or best to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If your neighbor is in need, then satisfying his need or her needs is best. So let's not be confused here. Some people think the good deed means salah only. No. Or siyam only. Yes, of course, fasting, prayers is good. But sometimes there is things, more priorities. Of course, the priority is for the mandatory, for the obligatory salah. If it's salatul asr, salatul dhuhr, do it. But instead of going doing extra salah, checking on your neighbors and your relatives is most important. Helping your community, managing, doing your own job, honestly. Helping your uh, fellow humans may be better in the sight of Allah. The Prophet ﷺ told us, to go and help my fellow brother is better than making i'tikaf next to al-bayt al-haram. If your brother needs help, and you know the Prophet ﷺ once was late for the salah, very late, because he was helping uh, two families resolving their disputes. And that was justifiable to delay the salah for the Prophet ﷺ to tell us to be uh, helpful to your fellow brothers is a, a, an act of virtue in the sight of Allah and sometimes it's better than extra salah, of course. So these great days of the Hijjah, the first 10 days is great opportunity to make use of this short life. Our life is very short and we cannot guarantee that we will uh, live to the next season. And there are certain things that we can make special. Number one, Al-Hajj. This is the time of Hajj. Those who did not perform Hajj, of course, and they can afford it, and they have the license, of course, they have registered, they can definitely, Al-Hajj is the best act to make during these days. As I said, especially for those who did not perform Hajjatul Islam. I don't think it's advisable for people to make Hajj every year or make it crowded for, and make the place crowded for people who come from overseas and they don't find room to make a uh, comfortable Hajj. It's enough to make it once and then you can make Umrah at other times. So leave some room for your fellow brothers and sisters to have a uh, comfortable Hajj. So Hajj making it properly is the best for those who intend to do it. Secondly, Siyam, fasting, the day of Arafah. Not the day of Hajj, not the day, sorry, of, of uh, Eid. It's the day of Arafah. The day of Arafah, the ninth day of the Hijjah, which happens to be next Thursday. Next week is the day of Arafah. Fasting, the day of Arafah, the Prophet Wasallam said the reward of it. What's the reward of fasting the day of uh, Arafah? One day, Allah could forgive you one year back and one year ahead. Give you forgiveness of two years. One uh, behind you and one ahead of you. MashaAllah. Great season. Allah will give you gra uh, great, it's a great sale. Not like 70% sale that we can see in the, uh, in the malls. It's better than that. So fasting the day of, of Arafah for those who can afford it will guarantee you great reward. It could go up to getting two years of forgiveness. Also, you can fast these 10 days if you wish, any of them, but not the day of Eid. What else? All sorts of good deeds, as I said. See what is needed. Ah, but don't forget also the other important part, al-udhiyah, the sacrifice, qurban. 
the yes for the hujjaj who doing mutamatti' or muqrin uh, they will have to do the udhiyah but for all of us who are not making hajj it's a sunnah in fact it's wajib for imam abu hanifa for anyone who can afford giving an udhiyah is to make it for one udhiyah for one house and nowadays we have many people who are in need especially muslims so the udhiyah is a, is a great sunnah especially these times this is the time of udhiyah and this is called the season of udhiyah and in fact al-hajj itself is a celebration to thank allah for giving us the udhiyah right it's a great blessing it's a great gift from allah that he subjected the animals for our food and use so we say thank you allah for that what else we do huh? the sunnah to do during these days at takbir which unfortunately i didn't hear any takbir coming to the masjid or in the masjid or outside from people in fact the sunnah is to make takbir everywhere all the time during these 10 days except from the morning of Eid it starts to be only after Salatul Fard but during these 10 days at Takbir at Takbir وَلِتُكَبِّرُ اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ وَلِلَّهِ الْحَمْدُ all the time the Prophet Sallallahu used to do it Ibn Abbas and the companion used to go to the marketplace and make takbir loudly so people can hear them and follow them allahu akbar we need to see riyadh a riyadh full of takbir every place everywhere this is our time we need to see the malls the, the marketplaces and all the workplaces full of the takbir allahu akbar to thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finally al-hajj also symbolize our short life and tells us to make use of it right so when you go for hajj people go for in ihram right al ihram they take off their clothing and they put very basic covering uh, for the men right the women will have to keep their own clothing but for men they have to take off their clothing even their underwear huh? make sure you put basic clothing to remind us of the time when we will be huh? washed and buried when we die that we will leave this world the same way with nothing we will have our coffins our shrouds just like that huh? and we will leave with nothing but this basic shroud and when we go for huh? Mecca and we make a sa'i a sa'i you know a sa'i which is to make the trip between a safa hill and al marwa right sorry a safa and al marwa hills right the two little nice beautiful uh, deer hills you make this travel which takes you about seven ten minutes each time right this time that you go and then come back you make it seven times one two three four right seven times this is a say seven times is a symbol of our lifetime our average life is 70 years as the prophet ﷺ told us right and this seven times we make a say a say means a strive huh? struggle or strive that's what a say literally means and that's what we make in this world a say and in fact if we go back to where it started this is the time when our beloved mother Huh? Hajar, the, wife, uh, the mother of Ismail, the wife of Ibrahim, was making this trip journey looking for water for her and for her child, the little baby. Ismail was very thirsty and she was uh, looking for water for her baby. So going from one tip to the hill to the other one seven times and we follow the same journey of this great woman. Uh, Hajar. In fact, she made the seven uh, trips, but the water didn't come from there. Right? She strived there, but the water came from Zamzam. Few meters away. So you have to make say, and Allah will give you risk from anywhere. It could come from Safa, Al Marwa in between, or even next to it. 
away from there. This is a symbol, right? The, everything we make in Al Hajj is to com commemorate this great family of Ibrahim, right? But let me take one last example Yawm Arafah, the day of Arafah, Yawm Al Hajj, uh, the great day of Hajj. Yawm Arafah is when all the pilgrims all gather together in the plain of Arafah. By the way, it's not a mountain of Arafah, it's the plain. Uh, it's a plain of Arafah. There is a little hill in the middle, it's called Ar Rahmah. Uh, but yeah, actually, you don't have to go to that part. It's you just be in the plain of Arafat, where all the pilgrims, all the three million people or so, or more or less, will have to be there before sunset. So, no Hajj if people don't uh, stand on the plain of Arafah, even for a short period. Does that remind us of anything? Of course, all of us will have to witness that day when all of us will be gathered together in one plane of Hashir. All will be resurrected and all gathered together. All of us, those who, who died a moment or a year ago or a billion years ago. It doesn't matter. All of them will be resurrected and gathered together. Those who arrived to Mecca on the 7th or in the 8th will have to come to or those who came on the 26th of uh, Shawwal or 20th of Dhul Qa'dah or the 8th of Dhul Hijjah they all have to report to the plain of Arafat on that day before sunset to consider your Hajj this is a reminder of the great hour the great day of meeting Allah in the plain of Hashir we all come to Allah there you stand all of us all the hujjaj and let me conclude with this you remember Musa alayhi salam when Allah called him he said oh Musa come and bring your delegate bring your representatives right and 70 representatives of the children of Israel came with him and Allah took the covenant on them on the mountain of a tour we no longer do that now we have the same but our representative now until the day of judgment is the hujjaj these are our representatives these are our delegates these are our representatives these are dearest these are beloved whom we send to the plain of arafat to the place uh, to the to mecca to give allah the covenant and to say labbaik allahumma labbaik Oh Allah, here we come, answering your call, the call of Ibrahim and all the people after him. We bear witness that you have no partner. All praise, all thanks is, only, is due to you only. This is the covenant that the Ummah of Muhammad, the last Ummah, is giving to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the pilgrims are our representatives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept them. May Allah protect them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send them back to us safe. May Allah accept their dua and relieve this ummah from the calamities and the hardship. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the help to make use of these good days. These are the best days ever, ever. These are best days of the holy life, of the whole year, make use of it any good deed you can think of you can do it now sadaqa salah salat rahim being good to your families reach to your kins and relatives to your neighbors to your society to everyone forgive forgiveness kindness love spread of what allah has given you may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spread peace in this land and in other muslim lands in palestine in syria and yemen and ليبيا إيراك and all around آمين يا رب العالمين وصلي اللهم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين صلاة العيد next week next Friday here it's 20 minutes after uh, sunrises so 20 minutes after sunrise usually salah is held إن شاء الله so on Friday as far as صلاة العيد and صلاة الجمعة it's it's صلاة العيد is is, is, is important so people who attend Salatul Eid are a choice whether to attend Salatul Jum'ah or not as the ulama here in this land give fatwa
وصلى الله وبارك على محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين